In your opinion, what will make road rage more stressful? But before finding out the answer, let's continue together to witness the consequences and what happens when the rage ends in today's video to equip yourself with new knowledge to help you know how to handle it. If unfortunately you are the main character in road rage situations. This woman suddenly accelerated and crashed into the bike in front, then got angry and thought she was right. Initially, she had stopped her car at the bicycle stop when Clifcom arrived. He was just standing on his section of the road. However, when the light turned green, the woman sped up and crashed into Clifcom. Notably, she got out of her car and yelled at Clifcom because she thought she was right. The pickup truck driver became angry for some reason, which made him speed up and pass through the intersection at high speed, causing the vehicle to lose control and veer off the road. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh, shit. The incident was quite serious, but the people filming did not help the victim. If you are in this situation, try to take some time to see the problem situation. This man sped up and began cursing at the cameraman, but soon realized that the laws of air resistance still applied even when he was angry. The sedan driver exploded in rage, yelling and cursing at the van driver. The van driver got out of the vehicle, and the two rushed at each other, but were quickly knocked down. This shows that raging is never a good way to solve problems. Only calmness can safely get you home. Rage ensued when the motorcyclist threatened to attack the man inside the car. And I'm coming down. He wasn't, you dickhead. The older man was not overly outraged and just laughed at the insults and threats. The outrage ended when the man stepped on the gas and left, but before leaving, he hit the motorbike hard. This woman attacked the man and tried to steal his phone during a road rage incident outside River Valley Church in North Loop, Minneapolis. The rage ended when the man accelerated and the woman was thrown off, suffering minor injuries that taught her a lesson about the consequences of rage. Rage came from a man waiting at a red light. He aggressively got out of his car and threatened to attack the car behind him, but then left. What the f are you saying, bro? What are you saying? However, at the next red light, he yelled and cursed at Clifcom for filming him. He even threw many can lids at Clifcom. The incident continued when he left and quickly turned left and hit the cyclist. Even though everyone was surrounding him, he still intended to stab more people around him 
and escape. Oi, 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 leave you. Leave him alone. I know, but I'd leave him alone. Just you. Oh, he's coming back. He's right here. <laughs> the police arrived promptly, and he fled because he was driving a stolen car. Rage occurred when a sedan hit a motorcycle and then fled. The motorcyclist was extremely angry, but the red car unexpectedly returned and crashed into the motorcycle, completely damaging it. A Chevrolet changed lanes, but a black car refused to yield, causing road rage. The Chevrolet driver got out to talk, but the other man unexpectedly sprayed pepper spray at him, escalating the tension. People then came over and restrained him as he tried to flee. The driver of a BMW X6 became enraged and rushed to attack a sedan, but as he was about to strike, his car rolled backward because he hadn't used the handbrake, breaking his door. In the end, his tantrums didn't save him money. Officers responded to a suspicious incident. They were informed that a female riding a bicycle had almost struck some vehicles on the way. The woman was very uncooperative, even kicking the officer multiple times. Even after being cuffed, the woman kept shouting. The female was charged with criminal mischief, resisting officer with violence and eluding. Videos serve as a vivid visual teaching tool about the consequences of road rage, hoping everyone maintains a calm and collected demeanor to handle any situation that arises. Next, we will look at a road rage incident involving two women. Buddha, the founder of Buddhism, once said, Anger is like a hot stone in your hand. Holding it will only cause you pain. Let it go to find peace. Regardless of who wins or loses in a fit of rage, the injuries will serve as a lesson for everyone. Who do you think is at fault in this situation? Let's discuss it in the comments section. But anyway, I hope everyone remains calm. What would you do if you were the driver in the rear? Leave your thoughts in the comments section below so we can discuss them together. This driver really has the skill to wipe out the entire power supply of this city. Baines was on his way home when a tarp on the road was blown away and unexpectedly covered his windshield. He decided not to turn on the wipers to remove it because he didn't want it to stick to someone else's car. Fortunately, Baines could see a small tear in the tarp and safely pulled over to the right shoulder.
Redneck stopped at an intersection and recorded a drunk woman driving a Nissan, deliberately running a red light and hitting another car crossing the intersection, heading towards him. The aftermath was severe damage to all three cars. Everyone was okay, but she was arrested shortly after the police arrived. This time it was Mike. He was driving his truck when he encountered an SUV driver who seemed to not be completely alert while driving. He was driving very slowly and his intentions were unclear. In the end, he caused the truck behind him to not understand and caused a collision with Mike's car. Fortunately, no one was injured with slippery road conditions due to ice. Please maintain a safe speed to be able to handle any situation. An extremely strong collision from behind due to a driver losing control caused the Tesla car to spin in a circle. All airbags worked properly, so no one was seriously injured. Both cars were seriously damaged. Rain combined with bad driving can make anything possible. No one was injured, but the car will probably have to spend money on maintenance. To avoid trouble, this is probably the biggest reason for you to equip your car with a dash cam. The woman reversed the car unreasonably, and the dash cam recorded her accusation. Losing control on slippery roads is very common. This is also a specific example for us to maintain a safe speed. It's unclear what the Subaru was trying to avoid, causing him to lose control and change lanes abruptly, causing the car behind to not react in time, and then the collision occurred. After panicking, everyone was uninjured, but both cars were slightly damaged. It can be seen that this man lost concentration on driving, causing the collision to occur. His wife also screamed in helplessness when she couldn't change anything. Pete was moving on the highway in Danville, YL, when the truck had no observation and did not signal when changing lanes, which caused the truck to collide with Pete's car, making his car thrown off the road. No, 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 no. God damn it! Pete was scared after the collision, but fortunately, everything was still under his control. Since the phosphorus coated instruments blinded me, I turned the small shaded lamps down to their weakest. Strong gusts of wind tossed the machine about and made flying difficult. The rain lashed. Being observant is important when driving, and being responsible for what you cause is very important. Perhaps only knocking down the pillar will make that driver stop and think about installing a reversing camera. Maybe you missed a turn, it's not important.
but remember to look back before backing up. This driver even got angry when he was not allowed to give way. Even though he was trying to go the wrong way, a lot of people were satisfied watching this video. A new driver recently shared that he had to meet the police at least three times in the first week after he got his license. In your opinion, who is at fault in this situation? Let's discuss this in the comment section below. <laughs> there was no observation or deceleration, and the driver of the white car even broke his wrist and index finger, along with being off work for more than two months. This is unacceptable and should be punished for the action of the driver running the red light. The runway being too slippery caused the SUV to lose control and unexpectedly crash into the road median. The car was heavily damaged at the front. Luckily after the crash, everyone was safe. That's high. Yeah. Because people want to stick with the same people. They don't care. I mean, it would have been better if someone had helped him observe the rear and guided him to back up safely. Right. Using brakes is not always safe on slippery roads, so go slow. This is not what people are taught. Tassie almost got into trouble because of these people rushing to another lane without caring about the world around them, instead of paying attention to what's in front and braking when turning the car. Patience sometimes is too expensive for some people. The pickup truck did not yield to the black SUV, nearly causing both cars to be in danger. It seems that owning a nice car cannot make you improve your driving ability. Modern cars are equipped with blind spot warning features, but you cannot rely on it in a passive way, but trust your ability to observe. The Civic deserves to be the luckiest car in this video. Similarly, slippery roads due to ice and snow are always a nightmare for all of us when traveling.
Many people have doubted that his driving license was bought on some e-commerce platform. Whenever maintaining speed and observation always brings you safety. If you feel these videos bring you lessons when driving, please subscribe to the channel as a way to encourage us to produce more quality videos. Every road leads you home, but not all. He not only damaged his car, but also blamed a ghost car, literally. Her calmness was like a strike on the driving skills of the SUV. No road home is safe when you're drunk. This is why driving after drinking is banned everywhere. Stopping is not enough to keep you safe. The driver of the white car forgot that he needed to look before merging into the lane. If this truck was as small as an ant, then surely the driver of the van would not be at fault. Thank you for following along so far. I believe that what we just witnessed has given you many lessons to help you drive safer. Wish you good luck. We will see you again in the next video.